feel like we're in the midst of uh, you know, one of the biggest transitions that our industry has really seen in recent years. Um, and climate change, in my opinion, is you know, our century's biggest problem to solve. I am most excited about energy efficiency in building decarbonization, just because energy efficiency is the base of building decarbonization and we need high performance buildings to put us on the right track towards decarbonization. With buildings comprising of more than 40% of the world's global emissions, it is very critical that we take a focus on our impact in, in this issue. Building decarbonization gives us the opportunity to fundamentally rethink the way we are, we've been doing things with buildings and achieve better longer term outcomes instead of just that short term uh, payback that we are looking for. The building decarbonization strategy that I'm most excited about are cold climate heat pumps. I'm a researcher who works a lot with cold climate heat pumps, and I feel like heat pumps are just the perfect answer and are at the right maturity in the market to start really solving some of our building decarbonization problems. So there's different technologies and advancements um, from manufacturers on heat pump technology and its applications that are coming out, you know, it seems like every other week. I work in an area where when we see someone come to a project with those initial decarbonization goals, we know they're committed, they're willing to back it with money, and they're willing to have their workers uh, you know, and staff continue to work towards that goal. The most sustainable design strategies would be like regenerative design or the living building challenge. And I think we can use these as great examples. We don't have the resources or the finances to do that with every project, but we can look to those as great examples of more innovative technology that's being implemented and has great performance in some various extreme climates. And we can pull from that and use examples to incorporate in our projects to do just a little bit better in every every single one. Creating goals is easy. That is, the, that is the first step, but it's often the easier step. It's actually, what is your plan to meet those goals? Building decarbonization and working at a company where this is important is um, really critical, especially as a young engineer. I really think that uh, my generation and the younger generation, it's really important for us to buy into the goal and the vision of the organization when it comes to building decarbonization. So just kind of getting an idea of how how focused they are on sustainability, what resources they have, who can I learn from, who can I bounce ideas off of, and what's my opportunity to grow and do what I want and achieve my goals of trying to make an impact and a difference in our industry. 